Hello everyone, this is Impulse, together again with Blue Cheetah, Hi. and we are bringing you episode number 11 of our Future Craft Let's Play series. This week we're on the official 1.4.6 release, and we have been working hard. <laughs> Just wanted to take you over to our setup over here show you what we've been up to uh, as you might remember if you've seen the last videos we were working on a enderman farm and we came to realize that we needed some materials to finish that thing and what we needed was some string because we plan on doing a tripwire system and we're going to need some iron for the tripwire hooks and we do have some sandstone blocks so we started off by working on the string so bring over here. Underneath here, we have a spider spawner. And I'm going to leave that on so we don't have to worry about them quite yet because I want to show you inside. What we did was we set up a little drowning system. So, and that's what you saw in the opening scene there, was me collecting all this string, beautiful string that we're going to need. And yeah, it's fairly simple. We just did the... A normal setup here with the spider spawner and it floods in. Sorry. It's alright. I'm good. Uh, water just floods them into this tube here and, and just in case they go up there's a water block there but typically they have a hard time with the glass and they'll go down and then they just go into this because they're tracking you. They'll go into here and basically oh well you've seen it in the opening. It, it works pretty well. They drown in there and you collect their string so pretty cool. Let me just let's let's do a couple here. You can hear them already. Here they come, going after Cheetah. <laughs> that one's confused. So you can see he just fell right down in there, and he's hating life right now. The water current's flowing downwards, so he's having a hard time getting back up, and he'll just drown in there. And Cheetah will get his string. We realized that we didn't really need the XP uh, because we're getting the Enderman farm. Oh, here we go. Here we go, Tondo. So you can see they all just flow right down in there. Except for these guys tracking me. So pretty cool. You saw I just I AFK'd for I don't know, about an hour or so. Collected a whole bunch of string. I need to go turn this off. easy way to get string and uh, if, you, if you watch any of the other videos on my channel you know that I do not mind doing a little AFK style Minecraft so right on we'll let these guys drown and, and then uh, we'll head over and show you something else we've been working on see you in a minute alright so we were on our way back to our base when Blue Cheetah came across this guy um, which we are rounding these fellas up right now, and I'll show you why. So we are going to lead him. Whoa! Creeper! Oh, ouch. Ouch. We okay? What was that? Lava? Uh-oh. Come on, fella. I messed it up for him. Come on, buddy. Oh, jeez. Cheetah, get rid of those guys. They are tearing you up. We gotta get you a bow. <laughs> Protecting this zombie. <laughs> we need you, man. We got big plans for you, buddy. Jeez, Cheetah's lit up with arrows. <laughs> nice. Alright. How you feeling? You alright? I think you need to see a doctor about that. <laughs> All right, bring them on, bring them on back, bring them on back before the sun comes up. You coming? Come on, buddy. I got a present for you. <laughs> Come on, cheetah. <laughs> All right, let me go get a a little pathway ready for this guy. Cheetah's gonna lead him right in. Don't look. It's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, we're good. We're good. The path is ready. Bring them on back. We are ready for this guy. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Come on down. Uh oh. Just tap him. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's bad news. That's bad news. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> there he goes. I'll go get him. That's fine. <laughs> Hey, we were trying to get him to fall into there, but that didn't work out so good. Let me go see if this guy survived all that. Come on. You down here, buddy? Or you? Yeah, he is. He's fine. He's fine. He'll be aight. You going after Cheetah still? Yeah, I got something for you. Take on that. Oh, yeah. Have one of them. He's going to be all right, Cheetah. He made it. All right. So what do I just did? I hit that dude with a splash potion of weakness and then gave him a, a regular golden apple. And in a minute or two, he's going to be transformed from his zombie villager self to a plain old villager. Which is going to be awesome. So, shouldn't be any sunlight getting to him. He'll be alright back there. We will we'll let him be. Don't have time to wait around for his transformation to occur. And while we're waiting, let me show you what we've been up to inside of here. Because it was a little bit of work. A um, little messy now. Let's see, Cheetah needs to get out. <laughs> He's stuck down in there. Let's see here. Let's see if he found his way out. Yep. Working on it. Let me go help him out. All right, where you at, Cheetah? Where you at? I'm coming for you, buddy. He's stuck. He's stuck. Let's see. Yeah, I broke the door. That's okay. Come on, in. come on over this corner here, Cheetah. We'll get you out of there. Swimming against the current. All right, while well, he's getting out, let me show you. So inside of our base, that's right, inside of it, we created uh, what's going to be our iron golem farm. And it's a bit of a pain. We basically had to carve out this big, you know, 20 by 20 space. And not only that, we got to make sure that sunlight gets to the doors so that uh, the game thinks it's a village. So we had to... <laughs> basically carve skylights all the way around this thing so yeah good news is we got tons of material and bad news is we went through uh, quite a few well stone pickaxes and quite a few uh, minutes or hours even of time getting this thing prepared we do already have one villager in here so that guy is going to be number two and help breed these fellas and Cheetah still hasn't made it out. I'm starting to get a little worried. I better go check on him. What's going on, Cheetah? You can't get out? You stuck in there? <laughs> you still waiting on that guy? Oh, hey, what's up? What's up? I haven't checked to see if this guy had any good trades, but... One down. So once that other dude transforms into a villager, we'll, we'll bring him on over. And uh, we'll see if they get, get breeding. So, we'll wait on with that. And I'll be right back with you when it's ready. Alright, he has been transformed. Let's see what we got. Go ahead and take away that block there. Bam! Come on, jump on in there. He didn't. He didn't want to. Hold on. Let me get some track down. Whoa! What's up, buddy? He's a priest? Yeah. Alright. Let me put some track down. And we will do... Whoop. <laughs> I didn't want to go for a ride. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, kick that card around, Cheetah. We'll get him. We'll get him. You want to go for a ride, buddy? <laughs> Whether you like it or not, huh? Alright. So we'll just keep him in this cart. We'll take him over to his new home. He's going to love it. Not really. You have a big job to do, buddy. 
you're going to make us some iron. Yep. Oh, end of the line. Hang on. We better uh, finish the track. Oh, I'm all out. You stay there. You stay there. Oh, 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 oh. Nope. He's thinking about running. I've seen it on his face. Don't run. <laughs> All right, we'll get him over here. Bring him around this away. Hopefully we don't lose him in the water like we did last time. We got a little more track we need, Cheetah. He's not quite there yet. Maybe I'll just push him in. I'll just push him. Uh-oh. He's already... Uh-oh. Don't do that. Uh-oh. Let's oh, clear away this wall. I don't want him to suffocate. He's already working on children. That's cool. Because that's what we brought him for. Whoa, oh. Come on. Don't let him go in the water. <laughs> That'd be bad news. We probably should have just finished that track out, huh? Yeah, finish the track out, Cheetah. Let's be smart about it. Being lazy. That's all. Being lazy. All right, is that going to make it? Yeah, perfect. Okay, get back on there. <laughs> you finish your ride. See ya. Whoa, not far enough? Oh, yeah. I'm in here with these guys. What's up? What's up, gentlemen? All right. Nice. And is it working? I thought I seen. Did I see some hearts? Do you think? I don't think they like us watching. Get rid of that. Don't eat it. All right, she. Let's let's give it. Let's get out of here. Put that there earlier. We had. He was still getting turned into a villager, and the sun came out and. Zombies don't like sun too much. Nope. He started burning. We thought we were going to lose him. So we covered him real quick and good to go. Okay. Good. That's done. So anyway, back to what I was showing you guys. This is our iron golem farm. What's going to happen, if you haven't seen this before, is we're going to load four villagers on each side of this thing. You can see they're breeding right now, and I'll show you why. So on all four sides, we got a little space that we're going to fit about four villagers in. That'll equal 16 total. And as long as they're spaced out like this, when there's 16 villager, villagers. Baby. Nice. They're getting to work fast. That's good. When there's 16 villagers around this thing, they're going to create iron golems. And it's going to end up, uh, when they create it, in the middle here somewhere. And the water's going to flush them over. And I'll just, I'll take the trip. Let me see. Grab some food. So basically, they'll create an iron golem. And he'll float to the middle against his will. Fall down. Don't need that anymore. And then we're going to flush him over this way once we get a few. And they'll get, for now, they're just going to kind of build up in there so we don't have any mobs and then they'll get stuck because they're three high so they won't come out and then we can come in and and kill them by hand for now but we're gonna set up a, a killing chamber basically kill the iron golems and take their iron and these villagers that we have populating this iron golem farm will basically just keep creating iron golems so we'll get an endless supply of iron uh, right now we only have this one cell so it's not gonna be terribly quick I think it's about I don't know, I want to say once every five minutes or so, if I remember. Uh, but yeah, let me go down in here, I'll show you a little better. So what happens, uh, the reason why these guys are breeding is because uh, they are trying to get a number of villagers per house in their village, which right now there's a ton of what the game thinks is a house. Because every time we set a door down like that, and it has a roof with access to sunlight within I think it was three blocks of that of the door there we go now these are considered houses to the game and these guys will keep creating children 
You okay in there? You look like you're inside the block. <laughs> Glitching. So anyway, we got, let's see, six doors on each side. So what's that give us? Uh, 48? Is that right? Math? Six? Well, it's six doors there, six doors there. So it's 12 for each side, I should say. So, yep, 12, 24, 36, 48. So we got 48 doors on this thing. So we're going to get enough villagers that we'll have enough uh, for four on each side. They'll just keep breeding. And we'll come back later and steal some of them out of there and kind of disperse them a little bit. And we'll get this thing filled up and get some iron cranking. Cool. Can't wait. Can't wait for that to populate. All right, let's go see what's going down. Uh, yeah, we we have a nice viewing area, too. We knocked out this wall. We had to. There we go. Getting a lot of lag today. Oh, yeah, and you can see I built this thing out of snow. So, of course, I needed uh, a place to get snow. And if you guys haven't seen this, basically all you do is make a snowman. Can I do the fireworks? Oh, yeah, let's do that right after this. Right after I show them this. Yeah, dude, so you put down the snowman and basically use a couple pistons to push them over. You can hit them, but I don't like hitting them. feels mean. So we push them over with pistons. Instead, of, instead I put piston heads in their, their face. And it pushes them in the corner, and then he'll create a snow block there, and then you can just rapid fire. I broke my shovel already. You go through shovels like crazy, but you can see I got 15 snowballs. And uh, as long as you have some shovels ready, you can get a lot of snow that way. So pretty cool, pretty cool. And you can see we've been stocking up on materials. All the digging we've been doing. Carrying a lot of junk. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go while it's dark. Let's see these. She just got some fireworks prepared. Long shot. Do it. Oh, over his head. Wasn't as long as I thought. <laughs> It's hard to do while you're swimming, too. All right. Let me get back on top of the mountain, Cheetah, so I got a good view. So, yeah, the idea was that uh, we would use the Iron Golem farm to create the tripwire hooks, and we'll need it for pistons as well, and uh, the string for the, the tripwire itself, and then we have some sandstone. Of course, we'll need a little bit of redstone for the pistons, um, and maybe just a little bit in the farm. I haven't quite decided on the design yet, but uh, we'll need some redstone. I think we have some, but we may have to go cave in a little bit. And then we'll be able to get started on our Enderman farm, which I'm excited for, because we need some better tools. I need XP. I need better tools. So, all right, Cheetah, let them rip. Whoa, <laughs> that one went really high. Nice. Oh, another one. <laughs> cool. Oh, another one. I almost missed that one. I didn't know you had so many. Ooh, that's cool. Purple and orange. Yeah, that reminds me of the Phoenix Suns basketball team, NBA. That one, uh, well, the last one looked like Lakers, maybe. Anyway, oh, <laughs> just in time, it's raining. Oh, Creeper. <laughs> I don't want none. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. I'm okay, but I didn't. He left a mess, didn't he? I always... I don't like messes around the base. Yeah, I just covered up the coal. I know. Probably could have used it. We just... We've been digging so much lately, I just... I didn't even want to look at it. All right, cool. Let me get down. That'll grow back. It'll be okay. Still looks natural. All right, cool. Oh, yeah. So we got some nether warts that we brought back also from the nether. We needed it uh, to make the, the weakness potions. So ooh, Cheetah's got quite a few, actually. Right on. All right, I'm going to put these away, and we are going to head over to the end, I think, just to take one more look at the Enderman farm a little bit so we can make some decisions about how big it's going to be and maybe I'll bring a couple materials so that we can kind of just do a a design decision on you know 
with the uh, I'm definitely thinking tripwire and pistons, but I'm not sure how I want to do it quite yet. So maybe we'll go and play around with that just to see what we like, and we'll meet you there in a second. All right, we are at the end. Let's see if everything is still working here. That's a long way down. Can't wait to get some ender pearls. I think we might make a ender pearl evader or something to make this a little better. All right, hang on, Cheetah. I'll take the first trip down. We're going to have to uh, continue enderman proofing back here, it looks like. That's all cool. All right, and let me... Ooh, I don't think that works. I think you're going to have to... Yep, <laughs> you're going to have to walk. We'll have to figure something out. Bring, bring your own cart. Yeah, that's what we'll do when you come here. Um, now, I did bring... I wanted to hook up a stove real quick. I don't think we have one here. So, uh-oh. She is making a mad. That is, that is loud. Oh, man. That is loud. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, we shouldn't need that water because they can't fit down in here. But up above, I don't like them being up there either. So I'm thinking uh, we'll go up there and maybe half slab it a bit. Um, all right, Cheetah, you want to help me out with that? Would be cool. I'll grab some half slabs. That's plenty. And, oop, oh, there's a ton up here, man. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're going to have to do something about that. So I'm just going to half slab this all out so they don't spawn here. They'll be able to teleport here, of course, but that's all right. That way we can get rid of them and start building a little bit, at least build the foundation for the Enderman trap. <laughs> I cannot wait to be killing these guys in masses, I tell you. They annoy me like no other. Uh, yeah, that was the other thing. We were planning on putting some glass along the uh, the edges there. Ooh. Don't fall off, Cheetah. You will be upset. <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Let's do this. You still got that water bucket, Cheetah? Maybe we just go ahead and fill this up with water, too. I know that's a pain, though. Nah, that's a pain. It's a pain to get rid of. We learned that last time. Never mind, bad idea. Once you fill it in with the uh, infinite water pool, it's hard to get rid of. you got to fill in every single block. So, well, I guess we're doing that anyway, though, huh? All right, we'll give it a go. We'll be right back. All right, I got some water. Oh, my armor is hating it. Got to do some struggles on my way back. It's all good, though. All right, where are we at? Ooh, don't like that. That's dangerous. Let's see. How can we fix that? Oh, careful, Chia. <laughs> oh, man, we almost lost him. Did you see that? Okay, so if that's that, that means there. Guardrail. <laughs> <laughs> we need a guardrail. <laughs> That's scary. Cool. All right. Um, we gotta get rid of these guys. That's for sure. So, so far, my only plan was to do something like this. But I gotta do it. Oh, don't look at me. <laughs> I got to it all the way down. What is going on here? <laughs> So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take some water buckets and get water going all the way down. Oh, he's angry, isn't he? Hmm. 
<laughs> you can't get over here. Anyway, yep, we're going to take water and kind of spill it over the edge and see how far down it goes. Yep, should be about five blocks down. We'll go all the way down there. That'll keep them off there, and then we'll flush these guys off of here. And I think we got to get rid of this. Hopefully the cart still works. We'll test that out. And then we should be good to go. We won't have any more Enderman problems. Sweet. All right. Take care of that. All right. So Cheetah got this place cleared off. I got some water. At least enough. Enough water down that they won't teleport over to our little island here. So we are fairly safe as long as we don't look their direction. All right. Let's see. Should be on half slabs. Yep. So spawn proof as well. And what I wanted to do is... I wanted to make a couple pistons, and let's do that. Let's see if I got. Don't want to use all my iron quite yet. Okay, some pistons that'll do. Just is just for testing. I also want to get a couple trip hooks, trip wire hooks, if I can remember how. That way? That way? One of these ways? I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> oh yeah, we collect a little couple ender pearls too. Alright, let's see. Come on, I gotta remember this. It's iron, stick, and cobble, I thought. No? Is it backwards? What is the pattern. Hmm. Okay, let me figure it out. I'll be right back. Alright, yep, my brain wasn't working. It was wood, not cobble. Okay, there we go. Couple tripwire hooks. In fact, let's see. One another set. Another pair. Whoa. We have twenty two ender pearls. Nice. You wait till we're done with this thing, Cheetah. We're going to have a lot more than that. Alright, so I should have brought some more garbage material because I need to stack jump 43 blocks high. Let me see what we got down here. Well, I may just use... Oh, dirt. There we go. Dirt's good. Um, shovel. Probably won't last. And we'll make another shovel. No biggie. No biggie. We are we're starting to get to the point to where we actually have supplies of stuff. As um, soon as we get that iron farm up and running, I think in this we will be we'll be all good. Okay. So let's just lay out a pattern real quick. Um, obviously, here's the center. So I was thinking we want. The Enderman farm to maybe run along this way. Um, so that would be so from the center, maybe go out eight on each side. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, probably can go more than that. Ten, maybe. How about that? Let's go ten. So that was uh, two, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then it'll be a two wide drop, of course. Um, I would get it down to one, but there's this problem with the vines that we need to drop them through where they get caught up in there. Um, that, let's see how that looks real quick. Uh, can I get up here? Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> All right, so that is a rather large collection area, which I'm okay with. I'd rather go horizontal than vertical, although we're going to probably go up to 128 anyway. But, yeah, that'll look good. Uh, yep, cheetah grease. Okay, um, it could probably be, let's see, because we're going to want to lower the block to kill them, and then it's there to one-hit kill them. XP harvest, we should say. 
All right, cool. So I'm going to just mark off probably the ends real quick. I want my dirt back. So we'll just do that. And then the part that uh, I've been dreading, I'm going to go 43 blocks up in the air. I say I'm dreading it because I'm afraid of heights uh, in real life and in the game. Uh, for some reason it transfers over. I don't know why. So let me get my dirt all stocked back up. And then, so that's going to be, let's see, 43 blocks I think is the sweet spot. And of course we'll we'll test this to make sure that we're still right on that. So from there, one, two, Man, this is high up. <laughs> I lost count, but I got a good feeling. All right. <laughs> I got a feeling it's here. Okay. So now that we're up here, I'm just going to build a little platform. This is actually where we want the vine, I guess the last vine, to come from. And... Just to test, um, I was thinking I'll build a little temporary setup, basically. So we will we'll let them spawn just in one kind of block situation. So this would be the block they spawn on. Okay. We'll just set up a, a few here. And, of course, I'm going to rip this out, but uh, I wanted to see... If the drop is going to kill them or what? One hit kill them, you know, you know the deal. All right, and then what I was thinking about doing would be this way, where we actually have the, we don't want anything on this, the level that they're spawning at. So we would actually, do I have any more dirt? Yes, I do. Okay, so what I want is that to be an air block there, and then above that would be, let's say, let's see, do I care if it's the tripwire or the piston? That's the question. I don't think I do necessarily. So let's do the... Oh, decisions are hard to make, aren't they? Let's do the tripwire. With the piston hitting him in the head. Might be, might be funnier that way, right? So in order to make that work, the hook actually has to be there. Against that. Did I bring my hooks? I did. Good. So the hook would be there. And then the piston would be above that. Like so. And now I can take this out, and that's important. You want to take it out because then you have an air block. So, yeah, this is good. This is the way I want to do it because if I had the pistons at my level, then I could risk getting killed. And like I said, I didn't want to be up here anyway. So, um, good. I really should have brought more garbage blocks with me. Oh, well. Oh, well. We'll just use the sandstone. Hopefully Cheetah's down there picking up my mess. Just got to remember what's what now. Okay, so again. <laughs> I didn't even bring enough of that, you kidding me? Cobblestone it is. And... Let's see, how did we have it? Tripwire hook there. Oh. I should make it look better. That's sticking around. Well, maybe not. Nope. I'm tearing it down anyway. What am I thinking? Okay. Piston. Got it. Good. Okay, let's see. Did I do this incorrectly? Maybe. So, I spawn on this block. 
here and it pushes me yeah that is wrong that is wrong unless I put unless I use sticky pistons and did it that way and I didn't really want to use sticky pistons did I so I think what we'll do instead we'll see if this works take that down We'll actually do it like this. Put the piston there. Oh, not like that. That ain't going to work. You can tell I'm just not right up here. <laughs> it doesn't feel good. Okay, so something like that would totally work. And then we, we could probably get rid of extra blocks. Like I said, that one's actually important to get rid of. Um, and then you don't want them falling on that. So you end up with a kind of a floating mechanism there, which is cool. Okay. So don't die. I don't want to die. Cool. So this was kind of the design I was thinking. Um, that would definitely work. And the reason I like it is because there is absolutely, other than the pistons themselves, there's no redstone involved. Um, and we have string, and we have iron, or we will, but we don't have a lot of redstone. Ooh, that's the other thing I need to be concerned about, is they can spawn on that block there. So I'd have to cover that with half slabs. Okay, that's good. I can do that, no biggie. And uh, I don't think they'll spawn on the pistons. Pretty sure. Sure I will be corrected if I'm wrong on that, but that is just fine because I like to be informed. Oh, man, it's hard to place pistons, isn't it? Oh, phew, thought I wasn't gonna get it back. Come on. I'm going to have to go up and jump for it. There we go. I'm going to bring a whole lot here, so let's see. Yeah, maybe that'll work. If I just did the half slabs and then placed them like that, it would have been much easier. Especially since now I made it even more difficult on myself. All right. And at the same time, not only are we trying to figure out what we want it to look like, but we're going to figure out the uh, best technique in building this thing, I guess. So, Okay. And I didn't bring enough trip hooks to make this whole thing work, did I? No, I did not. I may. Let's see. Ooh. There we go. Let's see. I might just make a crafting table up here and get a couple more trip hooks just to finish the job. This is cool, though. I'm digging this design. I usually use the other one where the line goes down the spawning space and the entire set of pistons come out. Um, that's typically the one I go for, but this one, I believe, is a little more efficient. Um... You know, maybe harder to build, but yeah, if we're gonna do something like that, like this, we might as well go for efficiency. Uh oh, oh, that was a bad time to lag. I'm still nervous up here. I think I'll just do four on each side. I'll take down that one extra piston there. And like I said, you know, with the iron farm and our our uh, string farm or whatever you want to call it. Um, we are set with these materials. Cool. Test it. Looks good. Okay. So the last thing we got to do is pick up our floor, which might be a little difficult because of the string. In fact, I think we actually have no choice but to break the string. Looks like. Bummer. All right. 
Coming down to you, Cheetah. I think he's still down there. <laughs> Let's see, and then I'll have to fix the string afterwards. It's a bit of a pain in that manner. Okay. I don't even know which ones I'm hooking up anymore. There we go. Click, click. Those two are good. Breaking all sorts of stuff. It's all right. Like I said, we will we'll get the building pattern down for this, and, and we'll be rocking once we have it figured out. Oh, here we go. Okay, all of them pointing down, and then which one's my way down? Okay. So I'm going to go back down, make sure that the only thing that's going to be working is these four. Don't want them spawning anywhere else unless they're going to be getting knocked off to their death. So let's do this. Let's go back down. Oh, my shovel broke. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got another one. I knew that was going to happen. I would planned ahead. Hopefully I counted right. 43 block drop from that. Whoa. <laughs> I think Cheetah did that on purpose. Um, I don't know what kind of rates we're going to get right now with just those few up there. But we may. Let's stick around and see. We still have a bunch on that, that bridge over there. So I might end up having to take that out first. Ooh, one fell. Cool. He fell to his death then, I take it. Well, <laughs> we're going to wait around and see. There we go. Oh, and they're dying. Okay. So what I want to do now, Cheetah, is... I don't know exactly where where we built. Oh, I took out my sides. Oops. Oops. I think it was along there, right? Something like that. Looks about right. We'll wait for another set to fall. And then they should they should live if I built this right. I wonder if they take damage. I don't think so. They don't take damage when they get hit by the piston. Okay, we're going to wait again. See if they fall into those blocks I placed. And then we're going to punch them. That's going to be fun. Ooh, no. They're still dying. Hmm. Okay. Oh. I definitely lost count, didn't I? Okay, one more test. If it don't work, I'm going to do a recount. We'll get it. Don't worry. All right. Come on. Oh. He oops. He landed. He landed by me. All right. <laughs> Another test. Here we go. Man. These guys, they weak. They just weak. Let's go, let's go up again. Ooh, I messed that up big time, didn't I? Uh, okay. If this one don't work, then I'm definitely recounting. There we go. That's the level. He's a one-hit kill, yeah? Woo! Yeah, beautiful. Okay, cool. So, I don't plan on raising this floor up. Don't worry about that. I actually plan on one, two... Come on, like, one, two, three. So, really, I, I wanted it to be this height. So, I will just... That's where uh, the vines will stop to under that platform, which is fine with me. Cool. So that's going to be it for today. Um, 
we will probably finish the waterway all the way back so we don't have these guys over here ruining our spawn rates and uh, finish up the iron farm get that producing and that way next time we can at least get a couple layers of this thing done and have some production happening here at the Enderman Farm. So thanks again for joining us this week. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please remember to give us a like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. It really helps out. And with that said, we'll see you again next week. Have a good one, everyone. <laughs>